We're now loading the map. Coda research, Co Coda ladder edition, rather, not research station. And here we are spawning in the bottom right-hand position of Coda in pink. Currently teamless and hailing from Scotland, Johnny Rico. And spawning to the top left position of Coda. Triumphed over Revolution 3-2 in the last round, playing for Team StarCraft 2 Improve, it's Mix. Let's go folks. This is going to be yet another ZVZ today. It seems that British players like Zergs, other than like probably the two best known players, that is that is D Muslim and Bling. Basically every other British player plays Zerg. Other than Mythic, of course, who plays Terran. And like obviously there's a couple of others, but most of the big names, including three of the four players in this today tournament, do indeed play Zerg. And Mi Mix going for an early pool here. Oh he's going full on cheese boys, he's going for the eleven pool. Johnny Rico better be prepared for this. At least he do he does go f pool before hatch. But will it matter when your opponent's pool is finished practically before yours began? That is the question tonight, folks. That is the question indeed. S six Zerglings already on the way for Mix. We seen in the last series how much he liked his cheese. Well, here the cheese comes again today. And the Zerglings are out. Moving across the map. Johnny Rico's Overlord will spot them. And for some reason that does that. That somewhat annoys me. And the spawning pool of Johnny Rico now finally does finish. His hatchery is already done. He's got four four Zerglings on the way now. But but will it be enough against the six off mix as well as two more on the way here? Okay, now Johnny Rico producing six Zerglings. This base is going to be really tough to hold if he even bothers to try. The Zerglings of Johnny Rico now coming down the ramp into dri driving a couple of them off, but that, that that's a lot of Zerglings of mix. Oh, don't want to get surrounded there. I'm trying his best to micro around these drones. Uh, not these drones, around these Zerglings here. Catches a couple of those Zerglings off guard, but, but still, there's in terms of overall numbers, it's still that much in Mix's favour here. Does manage to pick off a couple of Zerglings. Both Johnny Rico has picked off two Zerglings, but that base will not live. Cancelled. Does get the cancel. All but one of Johnny Re all but three of Johnny Rico's Zerglings. Very, very low on health indeed. A single bite off those mi off Mix's Zerglings could possibly put them over the edge and kill them. Mix still holding a vast army supply lead, at least in this stage of the game of four. Admittedly, in late game, that's not much at all, but at this early stage, at the four minute mark, a four army supply lead is quite significant indeed. Johnny Rico gets back down his natural base before Johnny before Mix manages to get his, pushes out on the map again, trying to drive off those Zerglings, scout them out a bit as well. Bix still committing to this, building more and more Zerglings, more and more Zerglings in production here. A lot of Zerglings in the base, that's a hell of a lot of Zerglings, and speed is over halfway done. Johnny Rico doesn't want to overcommit here, he should not be deluded, and he does see the Zerglings streaming across the map, what will his reaction be there? He he already has spa spawning a, 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 a spine crawler in production, and this base is looking very tough to hold indeed, oh for God's sake. Queen's blocking the ramps, Zerglings fighting a battle here. Army supply is still in the favour of Mix by three, and that's a lot of speedlings coming up there. Johnny Rico microing back in the court. Oh, and more coming in. That's a lot, a lot of Zerglings here, but, but Johnny Rico does actually take the lead in terms of army supply. He has both the lead in terms of economy, in terms of his... In, superior drone count as well as his army supply just just a tiny little bit and if that if that spine gets to root itself that that's a big advantage for him there 
Well, he did lose his base. He did manage to stay alive in this game, and Johnny and Mix Mix really didn't take advantage of that in terms of economy as much as he really could have. There, Johnny Rico's base coming down very soon after the natural off Mix. Zerglings again pushing in now for Mix, but that swine's gonna be a great weapon for Johnny Rico against this aggression. Sorry, I'm still drinking Capri Sun. The Queen, three Queens though, is, is a very strong force to defeat these Zerglings as well, especially given the army supply lead off Johnny Rico compared to his opponent. But the Baneliness is on the way now for Mix. He is determined to see this out in full on aggression mode. But it looks like this time the, the base off Johnny Rico is going to finally establish itself at the third attempt. Third time lucky they always say as the spine crawler moves slightly closer to the ramp to better defend against these zerglings. Four queens now down here as well as the fifth in the main base. No, both players now have their natural bases established but Mix seems to care a lot less about that with his zerglings still prowling at the edge of the base of Johnny Rico. Pushes up here. Surrounds the queen, not quite. And they're driven off there. 15 units killed by Johnny Rico compared to eight, on only 8 by Mix. But the army and, and no drone damage as of yet being done by both players apart from a single drone killed by Mix. One of the ones building the Actually, gas is now coming in for Mix as he, for Johnny Rico rather, as Mix places down his, oops, not Z, X, no, that's wrong, never mind. As Mix places down his Roach Warren, the Roach Warren is now followed by Roach Warren of Johnny Rico's own as he begins to wall off against this Zergling aggression. Pardon me. Absolute map control is in favour of Mix at this point. And army supply lead is, however, in Johnny Rico's favour at this point. It's 17 to 14. As um, the drones, the zerglings of Johnny Rico push back those off Mix as he looks to take his third base here. And the zerglings pushing back in, trying to, and quite successfully, in fact, eliminating those off. Johnny Rico, though, not doing quite enough to secure the lead he needs. Both army supply and drone supply in favour of the pink player at this point. And a natural base now coming down, a third base now coming down for a mix as well. Both players getting down the third at fairly similar times. Oh, Roach is out now as well for Johnny Rico. Boombox is online. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of Roaches. At this point, the army of the Roach army of Mix is still just crossing the map, but but it still lags quite far and behind indeed compared to Johnny Rico. Mix is all in early on. Seems not seems to have quite damaged him in the mid game significantly. That's a uh, army supply uh, total supply lead of about 30 now for. Johnny Rico, despite Mix catching up in the ter in terms of worker supply, his he just hasn't been able to keep up. Now that both players are on a free base economy with similar worker count, the game may start to e normalize a bit, become less on edge, if you will. But so far, but so far, Johnny Rico isn't convinced he wants to let it go that far as he pushes across the map, looking to press home his advantage that he has gained throughout this game. Eliminating el eliminating those banelings before they do much of a threat to him. Pushes up, pushing up into the natural. If he can bring down this base, it's massive, especially since, since the natural base of 
mix is the the thingy base. No, this. Well, the lair. And Johnny Rico takes over Mix's own high ground as he eliminates a lot of the Roaches trying to fight their way up there, but not quite doing enough. And Roach Warren tries to get picked off here by the Zerg player in the pink. And it looks and that's a lot more Zer Roaches coming out now for Mix, and it looks like that entire army off Johnny Rico is gonna be picked off, but really Oh, that Roach Warren just a single hit away or from being eliminated there. So close. But John, Johnny Rico, despite that fight having his army pretty much eliminated, is still ahead in this game. He is still 20 supply, 20 plus supply lead ahead and has a notable lead in both in army supply and a slight lead in worker supply as well. And he's rebuilding his roach force very quickly now as he looks to continue his push forward across the map. Tunneling claws. I think that is. It's probably not tunneling claws. I don't know Zerg upgrades by look, just by looking at them, I'm afraid. I don't play Zerg enough. It looked like claws to me. I don't know. He has, a ro he has roaches. It makes sense. Anyway. The roach is off mix now pushing across the map. As he looks to try to pressure Johnny Rico a bit more knowing that Johnny Rico is possibly ahead at this point though he possibly doesn't given the, the state of that attack he f thinks he wants to push home an advantage that just is not there but with that that concave could do nicely for him indeed but Johnny Rico is two steps ahead of the player in yellow as he pushes the army of Mix away without Mix doing too much damage to him at all. Both players now pushing a both players in a continuous push back and forth back and forth across the map but Johnny Rico has a significantly higher number of roaches at this point just look at that compared to that but at the same time Mix has a good concave there and if Johnny Rico just charges down this ramp he may struggle to push home his advantage that he does have, but with that such big army supply advantage in terms of numbers, is it really gonna matter as the fight commences and those roaches that simply put off Johnny Rico just push down, but Burrow is researched for Mix and Mix just burrows his roaches, but that lets Johnny Rico get into the natural and see what sort of damage he did the last time he got into the natural. And both players now having Burrow allow it, but the Overlord Overseer is there for, well maybe not, uh, Johnny Rico's Overseer has arrived, so that's the advantage of Burrow now gone for, GG! Mix just leaves the game, Johnny Rico takes the lead in this best of seven series, going one up against his opponent, his cheesy opponent I might add. exciting game on all accounts. Our second map is Echo Ladder Edition. Which we will now be loading into. As we look to continue this best of seven series. Johnny Rico, 1-0 up. Mix failing to cheese but remember Mix lost the first game last in his last series as well and won the next two so could the same thing happen just now now despite Mix being Grand Masters and Johnny Rico being a lowly Masters League player we must remember that Johnny Rico is an experienced pro gamer Certainly more so than the, co by comparison, novice that is Mix. And we've seen that advantage show in this series so far. Only one game in so far, a long way to go now before we find the winner of the Great British Invitational Cup. Loading in to Echo. And 
now spawning to the bottom right hand side position. 1 0 up in this best of seven series in the grand finals of the Great British Invitational Cup. It's Johnny Rico. And spawning to the top left hand corner of Echo Ladder Edition in red. Failed his cheese in the last game. What will he do this time around? It's Mix. Too early so far to say if anyone's doing too much cheese other than the fact that no one's six pooling, which is always good to see. This is a two player map, so but no worries about where to scout. Both players know that they can just go straight across the map with their overlords to find their opponent's army. This was the map the one map that Mix did lose or one of the two maps that Mix did lose in the past series against Revolution, so we'll see if Johnny Rico can repeat a similar performance as Revolution did in the first game of this series. Oh, in the first game of the last series, rather. Spawning pool down on 14 for Mix, as well as for Johnny Rico. Both players play much more standard this stand in the last game. GLHF, they both say. I guess they forgot that earlier. Two minutes, uh, two minutes 15 GLHF. Seems legit, guys. Seems legit. Neither player looking to rush for gas super fast. As both players look to take their natural expansions. Mix is slightly ahead of Johnny Rico's. Just ever so slightly. And the spawning pool of both players have now just about completed at exactly the same time. Like, literally exactly the same time. Queen's on the way for both players, and two Zerglings now coming out for Johnny Rico. This is Johnny Rico who reached the one game away from qualifying for WCS Challenger Series last night. He very, very nearly made it, beating a series of opponents including Namshar, the Swedish player who beat Bling earlier on that same tournament before he finally lost to Acer's Bly in the final match. Didn't get to catch it, I don't think anyone was streaming it. I did watch one of the games off his that Wardy was streaming last night. Wardy? Is it Wardy? Rather than Wardy? It's like Jonathan Ward, eh? So it's probably Wardy. Wardy. Saying that I used to pronounce I d I d I'm saying that I don't really know how to pronounce Johnny Rico either. I used to pronounce it Johnny Rico, but it's probably not right. Just copying Wardy's pronunciation now. Pronunciation. Two of the Zerglings off mixes moving across the map now. Running straight past the Queen. The Queen does manage to get a couple of shots off at the last one, and the second Queen that was in the main does pick off one of the, Zer the Zerglings. Tries to nibble away at some of those drones, but not much done there at all, other than a little bit of scouting, sees no gases in the main taken. The first gas of the game is now taken at the 5 minute ma mark in the natural off mix. Both players going very gas light this game so far. No early speedling rushes or anything like we've seen in the past this series. And the third base is on the way for mix, ahead of that off. Johnny Rico's who doesn't even seem to be moving out at the moment to take that base. That's a nice little economic lead for him. More drones Maynarding down to the base. Evol double Evolution Chamber, Walloff, along with the Roachborn coming in now for Johnny Rico as he spreads for some creep down there. Zergling Speed now finally on the way for Mix. He's nice and slow this time around, or unlike some of his past games. Queen's taking out uh, Overlord there. Deny a bit of scouting as Johnny Rico looks to go and take his third base. I don't believe that Johnny Rico has scouted... Oh, he has scouted that base off. Mix. And now both players are starting to even up on the 
got my front. Creep spread coming out nice and well done from both players. As both players also researched their hive la layer upgrade in their natural rather than their main. Still only one gas in the main taken by Johnny Rico, though both his natural gases are taken. Both builds of these players lining up fairly similarly, though that's a lot of Zerglings coming out now for Mix. Still, Johnny Rico should be alright with his spine crawler coming down, as well as some roaches on the way out, as he builds up his RA to defend his third base. And Zerglings now moving in, Speedlings now moving into the third base area, surrounding those queens there. That both queens very really close to falling, and one queen does fall, second one also falls. Very nice attack there by Mix, despite Johnny Rico's on the supply lead, he does manage to get some good trade-offs there with those Zerglings. Both players getting, starting to get their upgrades down now. Mix opting not to go for a wall off on, at his natural, unlike Johnny Rico did. And Eriko has it now added in a second evolution chamber. Excuse me as I take a drink. And Joey Eriko's forces moving out. No player having a significant advantage at this point of the game. Worker kills almost non existent, though Johnny Eriko has got a much higher number of kills overall than his opponent. But in terms of actual units loss, it's very even, actually slightly in Mix's favour, despite him having lost more units. Those pickoffs of the Queens and Roach, Roach or two there, helping out a lot with that. And Mix is now pushing across the map with a lot of Roaches. Um, a good concave compared to Johnny Rico, who, unfortunately, given this map layout, is kind of cramped in here. Though he does have the support of these two ramps here to give him support. But, jo but Johnny Rico's army is somewhat melting as these roaches push forward and take out that spine crawler there and move into the third base of Johnny Rico. And Johnny Rico loses his high ground advantage that he really should have, but doesn't because of the maneuvering of the roaches off Mix, and Mix continuing to push forward a significant army supply lead for Mix now, almost doubling that of Johnny Rico, and despite the even worker count, it's looking like this could be very, very short attack by Johnny Rico, in fact it could even be game with nearly three times as many units out on the field for Mix is out of Johnny Rico. And Johnny Rico now half the supply off Mix. GG. Mix levels the series one game apiece. I hope you're all enjoying the tournament tonight, guys. I'm certainly enjoying casting it after getting a bit flustered at the beginning of the last series thanks to internet problems, etc, etc, and then Starcraft crashing. Which lost us like literally 40 viewers. But hey ho. We're going good now. And we will be loading into our fourth match. No, our fourth? What am I saying? We're loading into the third map of tonight, which is Mix's pick. It is Expedition Lost, Ladder Edition. Let's load up. Inviting the party into the map. Another 2v2 map. The 2v2 maps are very much front loaded. This series with all the first maps we're playing being 2v2 maps. Only later on do we get to the. Let me just check, set myself to the referee there. Only later on do we get to the 4v4 maps. Vani Research Station is after Expedition Lost, and then we finally get to some of the later maps after that. 
But yeah, it seems these players prefer two-player maps, and I understand that. I prefer two-player maps as well. Indeed, I do. Just set up the scores. Spawning to the top left, posi top right position of Expedition Lost in the pink, Johnny Rico. And to the bottom, right hand side, bottom left hand side, what am I saying, Jesus Christ, of Expedition Lost. He won his last game, he plays for Team Starcraft to improve. It's Mix. Which sounds a lot like Smix when you say it like that. They are not, in fact, the same person. Which you may have guessed. From the fact that this is like a British tournament, not a Korean one. And Mix is. Mix is British, Smix is Korean. That's, that's the only difference. They're basically the same. Oops, forgot that. Production tab. Don't yell at me too much, chat. And don't yell at me too much. <laughs> so, no big cheeses from either player. I know how much Mix likes his cheese. He's done a lot of it so far this game. Or th th tonight in this tournament. A lot of cheese indeed. But that's cool. Cheese is good. Cheese is fun to cast, in my personal opinion. I enjoy casting cheese much more so than I enjoy casting long macro games, because to be honest, there's a lot more to talk about in cheesy games. Johnny Rico getting a much earlier pool than his opponent does. Mix going hatch first, which, if Johnny Rico decides to push the advantage, could cost him a bit, but the gas does come down for Mix as he looks to get a uh, relatively fast speed, despite the delayed spawning pool there. And the Overlord of Mix will soon scout the base off Johnny Rico, as will Johnny Rico's off Mix, in fact, where he'll see that he could have an opportunity to push with that with early Zerglings, should he so desire, given the lateness of his opponent's own spawning pool. Though I suppose it doesn't make too much of a difference, really, at this point. It's not like super all in by either player, or super. Greedy. Not like anyone's playing two hatch before pool here. No gas is coming in for Johnny Rico, so he won't be going any early speed anytime soon. Unlike his opponent, Mix. As you can see, there are Zer uh, just two Zerglings moving across the map. Same with there's two Zerglings for Mix here, as well as his speed is on the way. Shouldn't get too much done from these Zerglings, just maybe a bit of scouting, making sure there's no big o baneling busts coming or anything. Always good to know, if you ask me. Spot the jiggly spawning pool, see that speed is on the way. But the two Zerglings off, the mix is now out as well, so they're going to be driven off quite nicely. And creep spread off Johnny Rico begins with that queen there coming at, popping out off the natural base. And the Zerglings retreat back to the base. One Zergling of each chopped off. Another queen popping. Always good to have. Lots of queens. No longer mining gas. Fair enough. Zerg is always very much a gas light game, at least early. A lot gas light race early on. I play Protoss so myself, so like, obviously I need like 15 double gas every game. Roach Warren coming in now for Johnny Rico as well as W Evolution Chamber. Looking to play this one quite passively, no big aggressive moves. Hive Tech now coming in for. For Mix. He also goes for a uh, Roach Warren in the Evolution Chamber. Uh, Overlord picked off there. Just a single Evolution Chamber for Mix compared to the double Evolution Chamber off Johnny Rico here. 
neither player taking a third quite just yet. Unlike in other games. Johnny Rico's hitting happily on a good supply lead there compared to his opponent. Moving up to start to get his third base drone counts up and running. Going up from 44 to 46 workers with four more on the way. 44 is a magic number for two base and of course 40 and of course 66 is for a free base economy if you want to go exactly right. I know Snoot always likes to joke about like 66 drone murder trains. Get your 66 drones, get a bunch of swarm hosts and win. That won't be having ver happening very much anymore since we now have the swarm host nerf that has basically killed Snoot. Those two overlords making out there. That they're going to be interrupted by Johnny Rico's queens any second now. Much to the disappointment of these overlords, I'm sure they were enjoying themselves quite a lot. Roach is on the way for both players now. Johnny Rico's moving across to the third base, which he looks to defend. Third base, further away from the natural on this map than the previous map we played. Of course it's more, it's more open as well. And the fourth base on this map is an absolute nightmare to take if you go this way at least. Here is slightly easier, but again, you're opening up the back door, which isn't always ideal for easier player to do. Both players just casually getting upgrades down now. Mix pushing out his group for a spread this way as opposed to Jonerico, who's focusing more on getting it to his third base, which is slightly behind that off. R Mix, who's had his out for quite a while now. Certainly much ahead of Johnny Rico though, and that shows in like worker supply as well. Army supply is still in Johnny Rico's favour as well as overall supply. As you can see down there. And Johnny Rico moving out with a couple of a small force of roaches here. One on one jewel over here. Who will win? Mix retreats. As Johnny Rico's army pushes through, down, instantly sniping off that spine as he kills quite a lot of these drones, well, quite a lot of these roaches here, but has to pull back as the uh, defender's advantage gives the opponent of Johnny Rico. Ooh, almost there. That would have been a very nice move if they were just walking through there as that fell. Very nice trap indeed. For those of you who don't know, collapsing rock kills any units caught underneath them. John Rico now retreating back to his base. Fair enough. There's still a. There's now an army lead for Mix, especially given the. Unfor uh, defender's advantage, much to the unfortunateness of Johnny Rico, our Scottish player. All you Scottish fans out there, I'm sure you. And you Scottish people out there, I'm sure you're supporting Johnny Rico. Just don't talk about the Constitution, please. <laughs> yeah. Let's not bring politics into StarCraft. No players looking too interested in taking a map, uh, fourth base just yet. Still plenty of time. It's, on still, it's still only 12 minutes, it's not Legacy of the Void, there's still plenty of minerals left in your main base or is at this point your natural would be mined out if you were playing Legacy of the Void sadly I don't have access to Legacy of the Void beta so I am unable to bring you any tournaments running on that if any of you know Blizz know anyone in Blizzard out there who wants to give me access to the beta please do but <laughs> not counting on it Hydralisk then is coming down for both players now Mixes slightly ahead off off Johnny Rico in that regard. 
And both players have now nearly maxed out Johnny Rico slightly more so than the opponent Nick's on the magic number. 66 drones. Johnny Rico probably wanting. Johnny Rico now fully maxed out. As the evolution chain, as the infestation pit runs, there comes down for mix. Haven't casted any swarm host matches tonight. Probably not going swarm host given the uh, nerf given to them. But could still be looking for vipers, which can be quite strong. Big engagement here that I just completely missed. Big engagement, but the superior fire power off those hydralisks are gonna like tear through those roaches quite badly there. Though the roach is still doing quite well given the position they were in. Roaches are quite strong creatures and the upgrades do favour Johnny Rico. Hence how he was able to hold on so much there despite the number of fighter risks he faced. Now this isn't an engagement Mix is really going to want to be taking, because again, Defender's Advantage gives Johnny Rico a bigger army at this situation, though he does manage to push him back thanks to high ground advantage, but walking down into a walking down into a choke here as well as with the support of that spy, spine crawler is going to leave mix in quite a tough spot indeed but is Johnny, Re Johnny Rico's gonna deal with those hydralisks quite easy without the buffering, buffering power off the roaches they're really relatively weak the roaches are now reinforcing and Johnny Rico's struggling to hold on here his army supply is falling fast he might just be able to hold on for this fight and drive them back but he, his army supply is now quite far behind that off the, his opponent put 50, 40, 30 even supply behind in total off his opponent. Two spine crawlers to be constructed moving down there but not very successfully but army trying to fight but Johnny Rico's being pushed back his army supplies the wharf by that of mix. Defenders advantage just enough to keep him in the game for this long but Without the advantage of those spine crawlers, the army of mix is just swarming across the map. Two, two spine crawlers down there that's going to help a bit, but. But not enough. With those ticked off very quickly, and Johnny Rico now having half, less than half, the army supply off his opponent. And. His game, Johnny Rico's not going to be able to hold on there despite having a strong economy, he just doesn't have the army to back it up. As Mix is going to push forward here to take game number three to go up two to one with his best of seven series against Johnny Rico. GG. Well played by Mix there. In the end, dwarfing the army of Johnny Rico, huh? the, str the strength of Mix showing through. In the end, but Johnny Rico is still a very strong Zerg versus Zerg player, having fought most of his way through the WCS qualifiers last night, playing ZVZs. Expedition loss has just been played, so we will now be on the Vani Research Station the final 2v2 map in the ladder map pool and the final 2v2 map that we will be playing today the fourth map of the g game in fact and I could work out how many maps this is in the evening but that's effort and math on stream never ends well even if that math is just like 4 plus 3 plus 5 And Johnny Rico is ready. Mix is ready. And we are loading in. To Vani Research Station. In the fourth map. 
off this best of seven series between Mix and Johnny Rico. Let's go. Spawning to the bottom six o'clock position off Vani Research Station. One game down in this best of seven series against Mix. Hailing from Scotland, it's Johnny Rico. And spawning to the 12 o'clock position of Vani Research Station. One game up in this best of seven. Wearing red and playing for Team StarCraft to improve. It's Mix. Johnny Rico sending off his off-center scout that he seems to be quite fond of doing on this map in particular. I've noticed him do it several times today. And that's a quick spawning pool down for Mix. He's going 10 pool. He wants to hammer down his lead here. And this is going to be a really tough hold for Johnny Rico. Though admittedly, the last time Mix tried to cheese, cheese of this sort in this matchup, he actually lost against Johnny Rico in the first game of the series, if you will remember. No. Johnny Rico needs to be careful not to be too greedy. He's got to get his spawning pool down before his hatch, or he could be in trouble indeed. And indeed, he does put down the spawning pool on like 14, 15. I'm not sure how you count Zerg supply, to be honest. I always get confused because it's like you're on 15 and then you build it, but then you're on 40. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, guys? It's pretty confusing, really. But, jo but the. Mix preparing for another speedling all in by the looks of things gets a really fast spawning pool, really fast gas. And Johnny Rico takes an expansion. Oh shit, sorry guys. Forgot to put up the spawning tower. And Johnny Rico is at this point unaware completely of what's going on here. By Mix. Completely unaware of the 10 pool. Completely unaware of the number of lings just chillaxing outside his base, or outside inside Johnny Rico's base. Six lings in total as he waits to get some more for the big push out. But the longer this waits, I feel it could well benefit Johnny Rico here, as long as he gets his defense out and he doesn't lose his zerglings in the middle of the map when he shouldn't. He does not push out as he, he sees the lack of a uh, natural base here, and that's immediately ringing alarm bells for Johnny Rico as this overlord going around a really weird way to move down south here. And now that's a lot of lings in the base. 12 lings about to move out for Mix. But Johnny Rico is prepared. Johnny Rico is aware of the all incoming and he is preparing at his ramp for the inevitable coming of the Zergs, the Zerglings of Johnny Rico. And speed has completed and they rush across the map at high speed. And this is going to be really a really tough hold. The second queen gets there to wall off the ramp. And the Zerglings hit. The spine crawler offering really nice support here, but the, the, qu the queens are gonna fall. The queens are losing health. The queens don't die. Johnny, Johnny Rico holding very well at this point. Manages GG. Mixes all in completely fails, and Johnny Rico simply too strong. Great hold by Johnny Rico as he levels up the game two two. It's not gonna be that easy, Mix. Our next map is Inferno Pools. The first time we've played this map on this series, in this competition in fact. Of course it's the first time we've played this map in this series. But it's the first time we've played this map in this entire tournament. It being vetoed in both the first, it being the first veto in fact in both of the first two series in fact. Mix hates this map so much he tried to veto it in this series. Although that didn't end up so well for him considering you can't actually veto games in a best of seven. Now that's cool. 
we're loading up now. GLHF says mixed. And we're loading in to the fifth map of this best of seven series between Mix and Johnny Rico on Inferno Pools. Both players level on points. Both players on two. And spawning. In the bottom right hand position of Inferno Pools. Hailing from Scotland. And who just made a wonder a absolutely fantastic hold again. Mix is all in. It's Johnny Rico. And spawning the bottom left hand position of Inferno Pools. In yellow, playing for Team Starcraft to improve its mix. Will Mix do another all in or will Mix play standard? You've got to remember when Mix plays standard, he wins. The two games that he's won this series, he's played standard. The two games he's lost, he's cheesed. And that's tell that tells you something about him, that like he's a he's a good player, despite his copious amounts of cheese that he likes to throw in. And even though Revolution wasn't quite able to hold off a lot of this cheese, Johnny Rico can. And Johnny Rico don't like it when you cheese. Johnny Rico does get both players scout in the wrong direction. In fact, it's their second overlord they send in the correct direction. As the yellow player mix looks to take a pool a uh, hatch first. Johnny Rico opting for a pool first, understandably given the amount of cheese mix has been throwing in recently. And only now does he get the gas as he looks to get a fairly early er zergling speed despite the hatch first. And Johnny Rico now looking to take his own base here. His own natural expansion. Slight behind the hatch first of mix, but still good. I am watching chat by the way, so feel free to message me and do post messages in chat, I will be able to see it. And Johnny Rico takes his own gas. Looking to go speed for I think the first time in this series in fact. Generally isn't hasn't been taking too much zergling speed. Preferring to play more defensively compared to Mitz, who's been going for quite a lot of all inish builds, at least. Mix does get his own zergling speed out. Just before the hatchery off Johnny Rico finishes. As the Queen slowly plods her way down. And Johnny Rico's Zerglings are moving out. Taking the watchtowers. Not seeing much as the Zerglings off mix do push across the map. Four in total. Which will be seen only as they walk into the base, but there is a queen there who should hopefully get a few shots off the free. And they go straight into the mineral line and those drones are not going to escape, or those ones are, but that one is not. Or maybe he does very nice drone micros by Johnny Rico not to lose a thing to this push as his own Zerglings move in. Can he get any ring of his own? No, he just scouts out, uh, scouts out the base and then chills at the edge. Again, nice, nice hold by Johnny Rico, who now places down a Bayman Nest in his natural base, alongside a Spine Crawler for added defense. Mix himself also going for a Bayman Nest build here. Somewhat more expected out of Mix than perhaps in Johnny Rico, with a bunch more Zerglings on the way as well. Mix just can't resist the aggression, can he? 
I don't remember whose map choice this is, I'm afraid. And the Zerglings, the Speedlings, off, off mix, swarm into the main deck, off the, into the natural base. The drone line, in fact, off mi Johnny Rico, but not managing to get any more than a single kill as they are driven off by the forces of Johnny Rico himself. Both players now having Banelings more. Johnny Rico's Zerglings are, however, moving out on the map, seen by the Overlord of Mix, and this could well be an opportunity for Mix's own Zerglings to move into the base. A single spine crawler is all the defense there is along with that queen there. But they're, they're not gonna be enough. And the Oh but very very nice move by and the, uh, by the spine crawler to pick off those banelings. Queen just managing to survive there, but the dr the drones evacuated. Meanwhile in the main base off 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 the natural base off mix, the Zerglings sent over by Jonarico didn't do too much at all. Two, two now retreating back as they meet up with and pass by the Zerglings off the yellow player. Both players playing this match out very aggressively. This is a match that could put them one game away from that £20 prize pool and the title of the Great British StarCraft II champion. Of course. A few more scuffles around the edge of the base there by both players. Map control still overall in Mix's favour, his Zerglings having a much more active presence on the map than those of Johnny Rico, as Johnny Rico's Banelings morph in, killing a few Zerglings as they do so. Far more, z dr far more units killed by Johnny Rico than by his opponent as he moves across the map more. Several drone kills as well dur during that competing engagement there and Johnny Rico does plop down the spire for I believe what is the first time in this best of seven that we will see mutalisks on the field. We did see mutalisks quite a lot in Mix's match versus Revolution. But this is the first time against Johnny Rico that in this series with Johnny Rico that we will see that coming out from either player now. That Baneling cancelled by Johnny Rico who is hoping his added experience as a professional gamer will allow him triumph in this game. A lot more mineral a lot more resources lost for Mix than from Generico. And that spine crawler is gonna last a lot much longer. That's a lot of Bailings just picked off for nothing there by the looks of thing. I don't know why those Bailings went off. Didn't seem to kill much. Overall, a not too successful attack from Johnny Re from Mix, but th Johnny Rico's army is non-existent at this point. Johnny Rico has almost no army. Saying that the army of Mi Mix isn't that big either, but compared to nothing, compared to basically nothing, it's still a decent amount. And those drones are gonna be in a very tough position indeed to escape. But Johnny Rico now having a number of zerglings here to defend as long as they can avoid the as long as those drones can avoid the baneling hits. Oh, those Baneling it slaughtering about half the drones of Johnny Rico. GG Mix takes the series, or the match rather. And Mix is now one game away from taking the £20 prize pool and the title of Great British Invitational Champion. I'm, I know I'm like changing the title every time I say it. Okay, now time for Cactus Valley, which is Johnny Rico's choice. Johnny Rico chose this map, so it could be a good map for him to take this series to level up the series once more on that is as long as why does that do that oh. 
this could be a good map for him to level up the series on, as long as he does not blow it, I guess. Will we go to game seven? Will we see in will we see Iron Fortress for the second time this tournament? Or will Mix win now? Will Mix win the championship? We'll have to see. Spawning in the top right hand position of Cactus Valley in pink with his tournament life on the line it's Johnny Rico and spawning to the bottom left of Cactus Valley wearing yellow one game away this game away perhaps from taking the tournament and winning a 20 pal prize pool winner takes all prize pool nice it's mix cross spawns on this four player map so no player is gonna scout their opponent in it straight away initially it's gonna be take them a while which does shut down any potential for big builds from Mix but he puts down a temple he's going to retry re that game build, build that lost in the match when he was one game up before can he do it will Johnny Rico react in time will Johnny Rico defend like he did before or will Johnny Rico go out to a cheese I'm gonna say Mix is like the Haas of his Zerg players at the moment, in this tournament at least. Every single cheese that has happened this tournament that I can remember has been done by Mix. Playing very cheesily and it's working for him. And if this is going to win him the tournament then good on him. But the question is if in these cross spawns position he can really make that work because that, that's not a short rush distance cross map like that. And Johnny Rico not playing too incredibly greedily either. He is getting his spawning pool relatively early on. But Zerling Speed is on the way for Mix now. Which will aid him in his quest to cross the map as fast as possible. Oh, player. <coughs> now, Mi Mix is now aware that his opponent isn't in the top position. And soon will probably be aware that he's not in the bottom position either. Need to see what happens. Super 10 says the Zerglings of Johnny Rico move across the map. That could prove fatal if they get caught off guards because that's a lot of lings out for Johnny Rico there. Johnny Rico's life is on the line, folks. Will the WCS qualifier almost champion lose here today in the Great British Invitational Cup? Who knows? Ten more Zerglings about to pop for Johnny Rico or for the other one, Mix. Oh my god, I'm terrible. <laughs> and here cut. And Johnny Rico knows. Johnny Rico s spots the lack of a uh, natural base and he knows what's gonna come out. And just in time, he withdraws those Zerglings as the speedlings of Mix swarm across the map and those Zerglings are forfeit. Ten Lings on the way for Johnny Rico. Johnny Rico moving to the. M to the the, the the ramp to try and defend this off as he did before but that's a lot of speedlings for the player in for the player in yellow so close here the, the, the could the long map could the long rush distance save Johnny Rico here as well as great micro which we've seen before is very strong and in, in, in these sort of situations but this time is he had a mining base and it's dying and but if he holds this He'll be in a very good position indeed, and Johnny Rico now has an army supply advantage. 16 army supply to 11. Is he, can he make this hold once more this game? Can he hold off a second 10 pool in three games? We'll find out here. It's a lot of Zerglings moving across the map. This is not the time for drones, Johnny Rico. This is not the time for drones. Mix is all in on this. He has 10 drones, no natural base. 
This is all or nothing for Mix. But it's even more all or nothing for Johnny Rico, because if he doesn't hold this off, then that's it for Johnny Rico. That is his tournament life loss. And this is a winner take all tournament, so if he doesn't win now, he's not he doesn't get anything out of this. Other than the fun of taking part, I suppose. Uh, Zerglings battling it out. Johnny Rico does have a slight army supply lead and the spine crawler is up. That could be big. GG! Johnny Rico levels up the series. Uh, Mix unable to make that cheese work and we will be entering game seven of this series, folks. Game seven of Mix versus Johnny Rico. Coming right up on Iron Fortress. In these three series, we've played almost we've played Iron Fortress almost as much as the entire GSL last season. So this is the seventh and final map of this series today. Let's load it up. On Iron Fortress. Players with free free apiece. Can Johnny Rico come out on top? Or will the chip or will mix the Grandmaster Challenger in this tournament? I say he's a challenger, I, I consider Johnny Rico the favourite overall, despite him merely being master and mix being grandmaster. Johnny Rico's made some good runs in previous leagues, specifically the, G the, the OCS qualifiers yesterday, but it looks like Mix could be in here to win on Iron Fortress. There we go. And now, spawning to the bottom right position of Iron Fortress Ladder Edition in pink Johnny Rico and spawning to the top left position on Iron Fortress Ladder Edition playing for Team Starcraft to improve its mix and guys this is the final the absolute final match of this tournament. We have played a whole bunch of series today, well three series, and this is the final map of it all. This is a map that will make or break these players' success in this tournament, because it is a winner takes all prize pool. Loser of this match gets nothing, and the winner gets it all. Cross spawns once more on this map. Both players wanting to be careful not to lose to any early cheeses. Or perhaps more accurately, they want to be careful not to commit any early cheeses, as Mix learned last game. Every time he's cheesed a series, he has lost. Sorry, I'm adjusting the microphone there. Every single game in this series, he's cheesed, he's lost, and every pretty much every game that we've macroed, he's won. Both players, for a change, going hatch first. Johnny Rico's ever so slightly ahead of Mix. Both players reasoning that their opponent isn't going to risk their entire tournament life and that entire £20 prize pool on a cheese in this final match, especially given the history of cheese in this match. Mix getting down a gas there at the same time as his spawning pool. Both players putting down those at the same time as well. And it looks like Mix is going to try his to get some more speed again. Whether he goes all in in this, I don't know. Not as all in in the last game, I'll tell you that much. Not much more all in than the 10 pool can you get. But remember, jo Johnny Rico has this series proved his tenacity at holding off cheeses. So Mick surely has to be wary of committing anything of that sort of cheese again. Especially given how unsuccessful it's been for him in the past several games. And I remember 
Johnny Rico is the uh, favorite here. He's the uh, pro gamer who's been doing this sort of thing for years. This is one of Mix's first big tournaments. Well, I say big. This isn't a big tournament at all. But like Mix is like Mix is a lot was probably going to be a lot less used to this long form best of seven format than Johnny Rico is, which could be a big advantage for the player in the pink, especially as we get to game seven of this map, which we are now in. Johnny Rico pushing out with two Zerglings as he often does as speed as Zergling speed comes in for Mix at the other side of the map. Queen's on the way for both players and a lot of Zerglings coming out here for Mix. Could he really go all in on this again? Four Zerglings coming in for the other side. The last time he tried this it didn't do well at all for him. Two Queens are now at the gate. A spine crawler on the way. Spotted in good time by that overlord there and um, they do get into the base the main base there is no queen there the that drone field is wide open for him and he does manage to get not a single kill and all the zerglings on the map are reset but that's a lot of zerglings coming in for mix he is going all out in this for sure he is once again going to try for an all in this game is he really going to try for an all-in after how well it's worked him before against this player who is so good at holding this sort of all-in the speedlings are crossing the map now he does have a natural base this isn't as all-in as the last game he could do a bit of damage not game ending damage but enough damage to win without having to actually kill him here but the, Zer the Zerglings are eating away at that evolution chamber recognizing that they need to widen the map here they need to have more surface area but the, qu the queens recognize that they can't allow that to happen they're trying to transfuse but they run out of energy and the circlings are getting it but th those rootlings are gonna serve well to kill off a couple of extra extra zerglings of things for here and that's a lot of zerglings going down there for for mix Johnny Rico held that comfortably, but there's still a lot of Zerglings on the way, and Johnny Rico is behind in army supply, though he is significantly ahead in terms of actual worker supply. But that's not going to matter when you have a bunch of Zerglings knocking on your front door. Round two, the Zerglings are coming in, that, that taking out another, sp both working on both at the same time in terms of those evolution changers. The Zerglings prepared to like leap on them, but they just back up, knowing that they can't risk being killed by those for free by those broodlings unlike last time where he did let that happen the army supply is now back in favor of Johnny Rico as the ball of Zerglings off mix stand outside the base but they move in once more taking out that that thingy and go up here backing off now just waiting at the edge as Johnny Rico slowly begins to build his rebuild his wall, moves out with a couple with some of his Zerglings up to the third base location. Seems to miss those there. Oh, this could be bad. This could be bad if he. This could be a very favorable invasion for Mix. Mix outnumbering the Zerglings off of Johnny Rico here, and Johnny Rico's army cut down massively there. But so is Mix's army, with only 11 army supply remaining. Both players now going back to head into more macro orientated play a, 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 a lair on the way for mix as well as a roach warren and an evolution chamber recognizing the futility of this zergling all in at this point of the game but he still pushes onwards hoping to get that little bit extra damage which could well happen though johnny rico does have a significant army supply lead at this point again third base coming in for mix now with significantly ahead of johnny rico's the third base of Mix finishing before the that off Johnny Rico even begins thanks to this contain set up by these Zerglings here uh, the per the pink players gaining confidence to move out of it now driving away those Zerglings and the third base is now moved up to be taken by Johnny Rico but still the third base off the yellow player is already complete which puts him quite far behind in terms of oh hello to yellow in terms of in terms of economy but Johnny Rico does still have a lead in terms of in terms of worker supply and a massive massive lead in terms of army supply the army of mix is very small indeed but the army of R Johnny Rico is 30 supply ahead of that and 
and Johnny Rico's 30 supply lead is showing the strength of his play compared to Mick and shows how that how that despite the third base being down quickly for Mix that, that this all in d definitely does put him behind but Mix but Johnny Rico is pushing across the map now with some roaches here but as Mix begins to build up his army once more if he can take out even just that third base that's a massive win for him indeed Green taken out in a single blow and that's a lot of roaches there for Johnny Rico working on the this third base. The drones chased away, killed off quite handily as the third base is now forfeit. And, and, and Johnny Rico cements his position in charge of this game as he pushes down with more roaches acro coming across the map now. Against this, the much smaller numbers of roaches for the player in the yellow. And, and Mix's army is melting. GG! Johnny Rico is your Great British Invitational Cup champion. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, a big congratulations now to Johnny Rico, I think is in order. Go go, go message him on like in game or on the t his thread on Team Liquid his fan club. Go message him congratulations guys, because this is a job well done by Johnny Rico here. Well done Johnny Rico. <laughs> well guys, thank you for watching today. I'm gonna wrap up the stream now. If you've learned anything today, don't all in against Johnny Rico, guys. Thank you for watching.